friends. This morning we're going to make something new. And obviously if it doesn't turn out, we won't post it. But we're going to take some cinnamon rolls and some apple pie and we're going to make a little breakfast with it. So I'm going to use this little uh, oblong little pan. And babe, would you need this spray? And we're going to have a little breakfast of this and some old timey coffee from Chris's grandparents' old percolator. So all we do, I don't know if you'll be able to do this because it's really, really hard, but just try to follow the directions. You just take some uh, cinnamon rolls, and I'm using the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, okay? Just the, just the, with the cream and cheese icing. And we're just gonna put them in this pan. And I need a spoon too, darling. Are those homemade cinnamon rolls? No. Yeah, they are too, we made them at home. True, 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 true. I'm going to put them all in this pan fairly close together. Just like this. And we're going to save our icing because we're going to actually warm that up and drizzle it on top at the end. And then we're just going to open up this can of apple pie filling. And I like the Lucky Leaf if I'm ever buying it. I like to make it homemade, but um, not today. And we're just going to spread this on top. Isn't that hard? And I think I might add a little bit of a... Uh, How can you tell when the dill is done? Well up still. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon to this apples. If I would have thought about it just first before I dumped it, I could have put it in a bowl. Is it in here? And I would have put some cinnamon and maybe a little vanilla and mixed it up. But since I've already dumped this in here, I'm going to just sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Uh, it's in the other cabinet above the stove. Ground cinnamon? Yes. Caleb just bought this for me because he would want no meal. It's the extra the thing on it. So we're gonna stick it in the oven. 350 oven. You can put it on 400 if you want, but I like to cook mine a little slower. I know the package usually says four. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top. Even some brown sugar would have been good in that, but. I think it's too sweet. All right, we're gonna stick it in there until probably for about 20, 25 minutes. We'll see how it looks. We'll time it. And I'm doing mine in the toaster oven, which is right underneath you. Let me show you. You can probably put it, you could put it in a regular oven, but I like putting, uh, cooking most of our stuff in the little toaster oven. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, he's going to make some, what we call the old timey coffee. <laughs> and uh, where'd you get that, babe? Uh, from my grandparents. I don't show them the way most people do it. Look down in here. It's just, it's a percolator is what it is, but it has the little holes for the coffee to go through. But I got this bright idea. I want to try this once. So you don't get any coffee grains, which coffee grains ain't going to hurt you. We'll put it in just like that. Right, let me come over here. He asked for this after his grandparents passed. I don't know how many cups it makes. About 10, nine to 10. Mm -hmm. We don't like our coffee extremely strong, so we make ours maybe a little Weaker than some. How many did you put in there? About two scoops. Yeah. And then you line, put this tab in the back. Uh huh. And line it to the front, and then you just spin it. That locks it. All right. Get it started. 
it percolates. It comes up through that tube, boils over into the coffee grains, and then it drips through that and goes back in. And just and they say the more you boil it, the it, you lose that acidity of the coffee. If you might, some people I guess get heartburn or whatever from the acidity of the coffee, but this is supposed to really, because it boils it a lot hotter than your regular coffee maker does. Because when you pour this stuff, you got to give it a little while. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't have no tongue left. Yeah. It's starting to turn brown. Now. It's starting to uh, percolate, you can see down there. We usually use this on if you look at the Saturdays very, or Sundays. At the very top, you can see the water coming out of that. Yep. Kind of like the special day to have this coffee because we don't want it to break. It's certainly turning darker. It's going now. Look at that. You just let it do that until it gets to the color you want. Babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like it's about ready. I think it's done. That's in his favorite cup. <laughs> Tell us about this cup, darling. <laughs> when we were kids, the company my dad worked for was it's his name's it the the not American Window Company. They bought their windows from Scotty. Well, I guess as a promotion, they gave the the window company my dad worked for all these coffee cups. And this used to be solid white. It's old now, but <clears throat> when he brought it home, he wanted to show us some magic. So when you poured the hot coffee in there, it would light, or it would change, you know what I mean? You could read Scotty on there while the cup was warm, and then when it got cold, that would go away. Now it's pretty much stays the same, but this is pretty much my coffee cup. Nobody's supposed to touch it. I remember uh, when Dad brought them home when we was kids. <clears throat> when we was going through my grandparents' place, we found, I guess found this was in the cabinet or whatever. And even though it doesn't work anymore, I still drink out of it. <laughs> okay, we go, we pulled these out. Now when you check them, and we, they cooked for about 20, <clears throat> about 20 minutes. The top is gonna feel like it's not, but when you open up the biscuit or the cinnamon roll, it is. It's just the juice from the apple. So he uh, put that uh, in the microwave for just a few seconds, and then we're just gonna drill some of that on top. Oh, those look good. And then we're gonna let it sit for just a few minutes, and then we're gonna taste test it. That looks good, don't it? It sure does. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna get one out. Wants to be first. Might need some milk with this. Might be sweet. First food. You want to taste it on the camera? Sure. Hey, Christopher. I got you a fork. Now get me one too. <clears throat> mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Do you love it? It's kind of a gooey sweetness. It's really? Like, yeah. It's really good. I like the cinnamon. You know what else would might be good with it? Is if you sprinkled some pecans on top. Mm -hmm. Walnuts or something. Sounds good. All right, guys, you heard it from them. What do you think, bub? Good. Is it? <clears throat> Does it need vanilla or anything? No. Nope. Really just perfect. All right, guys, I guess it was a, a success. <clears throat> we'll get Caleb in here to try it in a little bit when he decides to get up. I'm just going to try a little one because I had juice this morning. All right, if you like this recipe, share it. We'll see you next time. Bye.
Guys, this is awesome. I'm so glad that we tried this. It's going like hotcakes. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up.